This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another informational Valheim video. Today, we're going to talk about destroying items and decay. Let's get to it. So I was determined to find out how item decay works in this game and how it's possible to destroy items when you end up with an overabundance and nowhere to put them. Also, if it was possible to just throw items on the ground and store them that way. So I started conducting a few tests. The first test that we're going to take a look at here was campfire. Now I saw rumors that a campfire will stop items from despawning. I also saw rumors that a workbench would stop items from spawning. So those are the two things that I ran tests on. So what I did is I built a campfire, then I threw out resin in each of the spots where you see one of those little pegs all the way down to here. And after a few days, we lost the first couple of them to about uh, somewhere around in here, I think it was. It was about the size of a workbench area, the size that when you have something that you're getting ready to build and you see that little like line on the ground when you select an item, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. So it was about that size. Now what's interesting with this is that after, I, I figured, okay, well then obviously the campfire does stop items from despawning and it has the same radius as a workbench. What was interesting is after a few more days of that, like one or two items near the end despawned, but then there were still some left in this area here. And I was like, well, that's strange because I started here and I worked my way out as I was dropping them. So if they have a decay timer when they're set on the ground, it's interesting that they started to despawn a little bit here and there and then the others despawn because you would think that they would despawn as their timer runs out starting in this direction. So we would essentially have these two here despawn and then later these would despawn on their way out. Now, all of them despawning out here basically told me that their timer ran out at the same time. It, well, they don't necessarily have a timer. It's more or less like so many days pass and it's not in an area, so it deletes. It was interesting to see the ones in here though delete and it makes me wonder if they're not supposed to because if you look, I do have some left. Now, these have been going, this has been going an in-game week or so now. It's been many, many days. I thoroughly tested this. So I was like, after two days, all of the ones from like, this radius here, all the way out here from here, just instantly deleted. They were just gone. But then after another day we, is when I lost the few, just the like two or three in the mix here, and then the rest of them disappeared. I just want to tell you that because it's interesting and I don't know if that's the way it's intended to work. So maybe the devs will see this and they'll be like, oh, that's a bug. That's not intended to work. It's actually supposed to be the size of the workbench. But anyway... So the campfire does stop items from despawning, but the radius is only out to here, maybe a little bit further. It could be out to like right here. I don't know because we skipped some spaces in there. I didn't line them touching, but you get the idea. It's a rather small and, it, and because it comes out this way, it should either be a square or a circle. Considering the workbench is a circle, I am assuming that the campfire is a circle as well. So if you don't want to lose items and you don't have a workbench down just a campfire, you can throw the items next to the campfire uh, about this far out here and all around it and they should be fine. Like I said, this has been well over at least an in-game week, if not more. I wasn't keeping track of the exact days, but trust me, it's been a very, very long time. I just let them go and been doing other stuff. Now, let's talk about the workbench because over here, I did the same thing with the workbench because I wanted to see if the workbench was a thing or not, if it would stop items from despawning. Here we are. I did the same setup that I did down there. I put a little hut over top the workbench, set the workbench up, threw resin out, and then went through and marked it with the pegs. Now you can see I went all the way down to here. Now with this one, it was like day two, everything disappeared. So uh, you, your items that are on the ground can definitely last a full day from the time they hit the ground, but like two days tops, they're pretty much gone. So like two days later, this was all going all the way back to here. But what's interesting is if we take a look, if I grab a wall, you can see it's right at the line. So this one that, let me get something that's actually easier to point with here. So the one that was right here should have been fine 
if it was just ever so slightly back, you can see we just missed the line there. So because this one is here and it's fine, tells me that this one here, had it been like right here, it would have been fine as well. Once again, this was set up the same time, the same day, right, literally right after I set up the campfire one over there and it's been going just as long once again, at least a week, if not longer. And you can see all of these items are still on the ground perfectly fine. So anywhere inside this white line that you see here, if you throw an item out. Now, I've inadvertently tested this before. When I started playing, I accidentally made an extra hoe and I accidentally made an extra axe and I threw them out beside my main base and it was within a workbench work area and they were there for I don't know, 40, 50 days, because I'm on like day 10 something or 140 something, something like that. It's been a lot of days. But anyway, they were there for pretty much ever. They did not despawn. So I'm convinced. Now, I don't have any proof in this other than my testing and, and seeing stuff in game. So I don't have any solid evidence, but the evidence would suggest that items do not ever despawn inside of an area that's covered by a workbench. Now, it could just be a situation where it's a very, very long time, but considering it's been over uh, multiple weeks in game, that suggests to me that they don't ever actually despawn when they're inside the workbench radius. Now, I do want to talk about an exception here. So there is a situation over here. There's about to be a mild spoiler. So if you don't want to hear any spoilers, put your earmuffs on for a hot second, but then none of this is going to make any sense to you. So anyway, I had a sea serpent attack me. I ran it up to shore. I shot it and killed it right offshore. It went down right at the end of this little um, area here that you see here and died right about out there. The meat that it gives floated to the top. The scales that it gives sank to the bottom. Now, I was determined to get those scales, so I built a workbench and I slowly raised the land all the way out to here. The scales ended up despawning in the water, even though I had a workbench right about here. Now, this was a higher up out of the water. I went through and smoothed it out since then because I didn't want to see it. It's ugly. But I had a workbench right about here, which meant that the scales, and you could see the line when I was doing stuff, the scales were inside of the workbench area. But because they were in the water, they ended up despawning after two days. It took me two days to get all the way out here. Now, the workbench started over there on land, but then I moved it out to here, and I'm positive they were in the workbench area, and they did despawn in the water. Now, I haven't run any full tests out here yet by placing stuff in the water and having a workbench by because that was good enough for me to, to believe that stuff in the water and that and the fact that the rain damages things, the, those two things are enough for me to believe that throwing things in the water is a, is a despawn mechanic. So even if it's in a workbench area, if you throw it in the water, it should despawn. So don't, I mean, I don't know why you would try to store things in the water. And if you want to delete things, just throw them on the ground away from your base and they'll delete as long as they're not near a workbench. But if you want to delete things and for some reason you're near the water and you can't be bothered to run out, if you throw them in the water, they should despawn. So other than the fact that this tells us how to easily delete things, so basically just keep things away from your workbench, take them out in the woods and throw them down. And after two days, they will delete. That also means that we can store things without actually having to put them in chests. Now, I do not recommend doing this just in case because it's an early access game. And while it seems very stable and I have found very little in the way of bugs and stuff like that, you never know when things are going to happen. So if you have valuable things, store your valuable things in chests. But for example, something like the gray dwarf eyes and the resin that you just end up with absolutely stupid amounts of, don't even you don't even have to bother putting it in a chest. Do like I did here. Just start a gray dwarf eye resin corner. You can just throw it out like it's no issue and then and just hangs out there. Now, after a day like there's um there's a timer when you throw something out you won't immediately suck it back up if you walk over top of it but after a full day you will so if i run back over here you can see i pick it all back up 
Now, the reason I'm telling you that is because every time you throw one of these out, it creates an entity in the world. So we throw one out and then I do the same thing for another one. Now there's two entities there. Eventually, that's got to cause some frame problems. So in order to help prevent that from happening, every now and then, if you're making a I resin pile or whatever else you have an abundance of that you just want to throw on the ground, run over, pick it all up so that you restack it all and then throw out the complete stacks because then you're going to have a lot less entities there in the corner. So now you can see that they're all stacked up and we only have four entities in the corner. The other thing you can do, but you want to, once again, need to make sure that all of this is within the vicinity of a workbench, is you can actually create a little setup, like a little storage hut, like I've done here. So you can see I have a workbench right beside here. This workbench has been here. It's been to extend my build area out and other things. Um, but then beside of it, because I know this is in the area, I have a little hut. So I can jump in here. I can grab all of the items that I want so I can restack them. And then you can just stand here at the edge and toss them all in there. So now they're all stacked up and they're in there and they're not taking up valuable storage space. And I could just stack a ton of them there. Now, the other thing to keep in mind is I have not tested an entity limit. There could be a situation where after you get a few hundred stacks here, for some reason, they start to disappear. That could be, they could have a system in place to stop too many of them ending up on the ground to prevent lag. That could be a thing. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't have quite enough of them to really test it. I guess I could go through and throw one out at a time till I get a massive pile. But even then, uh, you don't know what the limits are. So I could sit here for five, six, seven hours and do it. And then before I even see anything happen, and then you may not even notice that it's happening. It may happen while you sleep or you don't know when they would put that trigger that causes that to happen in the game. But I'm saying this just so that you're aware that it could be a thing. So you don't come back to the comments and go, hey, Firespark, I did what you said and I had 9,000 Grey Dwarf eyes and I woke up one morning and most of them were gone. Well, now you know that that's a possibility. That's why I suggest doing this here with things that you don't really care about. Like you're going to have so, many, so much resin, so many Grey Dwarf eyes or heads, trophies that... Eh, throwing them down if you lose a couple, it isn't really going to hurt if for some reason they delete, but they shouldn't. They should be fine. I've been doing this for a while um, here and in my other base that we were just at, and I haven't had any issues yet. It also is awesome because it frees up a ton of space. They were taking up so much room in these chests. You can see here, I got more resin here. We can just take it all over here. Look at that. I just freed up four spots in this chest that I can store more important, more valuable things in. And I just come over here, throw this in the resin hut, and now I don't have to worry about it. And as we are quickly running out of daylight here, I think we're going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you all found this helpful and informational. Been working on this for a few days now because I had to test it thoroughly. So hopefully um, you found it helpful. If you did, consider hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be notified when I upload other videos. And I don't just cover Valheim. I cover all kinds of different games. It just so happens this is a feature game on the channel right now. So you never know when I'm going to be uploading guides for a game that you may be playing. Playing. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you'd like to join my elite crew Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.